Good morning, uh, Earth Signs. This is your reading. The mid-month pyramid spread for the month of August. So, as I was setting up for your reading this morning, we get the card Crown Chakra with the Unlimited Self. Now, we just came through the Lion's Gate. The energy for this started around the 26th of July, so two weeks ago. And it's going to continue probably for the rest of the month. At least until around the 19th of August. Um, so I've already shuffled your deck. And we get the cards in the split, and I felt that this was incredibly significant, which was why I looked at it. Um the Four of Pentacles and the King of Swords. I feel like you guys are way too grounded right now. You're almost too grounded, too practical to see your own I am's. Like you're stuck in your approach to maintain control and stability so you're limiting your ability to explore and connect to your higher selves. This is about connecting to your I am and understanding your I am. All right, so let's see. What do we have? Death. The lovers. Mm. Ace of Wands. Queen of Pentacles, Judgment, the Knight of Cups, the Six of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the King of Wands. Oh. We have a matched set here and the lovers out on the table. Okay, Earth Signs. This is Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Connecting with our higher selves. Transformation is what's needed to get you out of this period of being stuck. Duck. You need to go through a transformation to bring out your inner child. Some kind of choice that you made, though, is your reasoning for why it's being stuck. Person, place, thing. Some kind of choice that was made. A person. You were given this amazing gift a gift to use or an opportunity. that puts you into this state of practicality, of groundedness.
It's the I want. It's the choice. Somebody in this collective of earth signs is wanting to connect with their kingdom spouse, let's say. Their twin flame, their high level soulmate. And you're doing all the things that you're supposed to be doing in order to manifest it. You're journaling, you're setting your intention, you're whatever, whatever, but you're missing your connection to the crown chakra because you're too focused on wanting that. God came out here and said, here, here is all of this, um, knowing all of this compassion, all of this creative passion. But you're choosing to stay practical and you're not using it. Being a Leo Virgo cusp, I struggle very much with the sense of practicality and service to others. I struggle with that. And when I had my first kid at 19, my mom said to me that I was going to have to do all of this. The raising the baby, the running the house, all of it. I was going to have to do it on my own. And I was to not expect my partner, at the time it was his dad, to help me with anything. And I was 19 and... Well, I was 18 when I got pregnant, but I was 19 when I had Blade. His dad's three years younger than me, so... I had just turned 19, and Terry had just turned 16 when Blade was born. So... I took all of the responsibility on myself because I had to. He was still in school. And that that energy of taking on that responsibility out of a standpoint of needing stability and me being the only one who could provide it put me in a place of... Um, anger and resentment all the time and it has been constant and steady chaos for the last 22 years in every relationship that I've had and this year I've really had to learn how to let go of that control so that I could live a more happier life and that's kind of where spirit is going with this here too You're going to have a wake-up call. Something is going to happen that is going to wake you up to the reality that you need to connect more to your higher self and do the inner child healing. What has happened in your life that has caused you to be stuck in this energy? The Sacred Servant. Knight of Cups.
always doing what's right because of the love that you carry with you. Your higher self is screaming at you. I get the impression that you know this. That in order to get to a more peaceful place in your life, you have got to release some of the control that you have on yourself. Now that's not releasing any kind of um, moral standards that you have. But this is dancing more. This is um, creating more. Writing poetry. Painting. Gardening. Balancing the internal divine masculine and divine feminine. Okay. You're very heavy right now in your divine masculine energy. That is the practical, grounded, stable. But you need to be able to balance that with... with the nurturing and caring and this is all of the self there was some kind of trauma that happened I don't know what that is for you so take that how it resonates for me mine was who my mother was at the time and the words that she said to me so there is something imprinted and you have to figure out what that is and recognize that it's okay to get help from other people. It's okay to say no. Okay, this is, it's okay to allow your inner child to come out and play. So... Your higher self wants to connect with you. And your spirit guides are just asking you to listen to the still small voice. You know, that internal dialogue that you have with yourself Those thoughts that happen almost instantaneously when you're working on a project, trust it. Trust it more. And do the shadow work to heal the inner child. Earth signs, this is all I have for you today. I love you. I hope you enjoyed this reading, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.